Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to show you what middleware is and how to integrate the middleware concept into our Laravel application. Now, middleware is a concept that provides a convenient mechanism for inspecting and filtering HTTP requests entering your application. You can think of it as something like a bridge between a request and a response. In order to create a middleware, you should first go to the terminal, click on terminal and new terminal and then type the following command php artisan make middleware followed by the name of the middleware so in my case it is going to be hx since i want to check the h given in the uri so once you click on yes you will see middleware created successfully if you go inside the app folder then http then middleware you will see pre-built middlewares alongside the middleware that we just created. In order to use this middleware in our route, we need to register it first. To do that, we need to go to the kernel.php file, and inside there you will find a middleware aliases array, where we can register the aliases. So I'm going to register a new alias for the created middleware, and I'm going to set it equal to the middleware class. For that, I'm going to copy this one and then I'm going to paste it out and then I will replace this with the middleware name, age check. So now that I have done that, I'm going to save the file and I'm going to close it. So now we can integrate the middleware in our routes. We can do that by adding a middleware function holding the alias that we applied inside the kernel. So middleware and then we will add age-check, which is the alias name. But that is not the only way to integrate middleware inside the routes. We can also add age-check, which is the age-check class, but then we would have to add the age class inside um, the web.php file. But I'm gonna choose the first option since it is a better way. So now let's start integrating the logic. As already said, I'm going to create a mechanism that will check the age given inside the URI. Based on the age, this mechanism is going to give a response. So inside the URI, I'm going to add age. And inside the function, I'm going to add the age variable as a parameter. And this will return the welcome blade file. Then I'm going to go to the age check middleware file. Then inside here, I'm going to create an if else statement that will check the age. So the condition is going to be request age, which is the value of the URI. If the request age is bigger than 18, then I'm going to echo something out, which is going to be echo age is greater than 18. I'm also going to return the next function which is going to pass the request. And then inside the else block I'm going to return the redirect method which is going to redirect the request to an empty URI. And since we don't have a view applied for an empty URI, we will get a 404 error. So now let's test the application. Inside the URI, I'm going to give a number uh, bigger than 18. And as you can see, we're getting age is greater than 18 echoed out together with the welcome blade file. If I would type something smaller than 18, we would get a 404 error. So that is for today's video. Leave a like and a subscribe if you found it helpful and thanks for watching.